Hey everybody, Ali Craig here, and this is a Soul Target. And this week, we're going to talk about the personal outcome side when you're creating your own Soul Target. So if you haven't seen the vlog yet, basically this is what you do. When you're creating your Soul Target, you actually put your target right in the center. New York Times bestseller is the example here. You put your Soul Target in the center, and then to the left or the right of it, you're going to put your personal boundary lines of what will be acceptable for you. So if you don't hit New York Times bestseller or spot on, what would be the acceptable boundary where you feel like you did achieve something? It's a little less than being a New York Times bestseller, but it's still an achievement all the same. And then we're gonna to go to the right of that and we're gonna write, if you overachieve New York Times bestseller, what does that look like? And where is that going at? So when we start with ourselves, we start with ourselves because guess what? We are always there. <laughs> your profession may change, your source of income may change, but you are always you. And that's why we always wanna start with what makes it you? What's the win for you? What gets you off in achieving the goal? Because if we can achieve certain level of success for ourselves personally, if the rest is in chaos, we'll still be willing to move forward and work through it because we have some personal level of success. Or fulfillment at that point. So once we understand our range, we need to create bullets of what I like to call bullets of awesomeness. Like what does that look like? What does it look like if in our example we have the least, so the less the least amount accepted. So I don't make New York Times bestseller, I'm happy to make be an Amazon bestseller. Well we need to write some bullets of awesomeness of what does that look like. And then we need to write on the other side, bullets of awesomeness, of what does it look like when we far achieve the idea of New York Times bestseller. Now, we wanna write this down, ideally. And I know this isn't so beautiful, but it's honestly the most effective way I've ever found to get your ideas out there fast and your goal setting done really quickly. This doesn't need to be a week-long process, even a day-long process. This needs to be, I had an idea, here's the idea, left, right, up, down, and bullets. Let's get going. It literally can be done in 20 minutes or less. So yes, better than delivery pizza. But we start with you because you are the heart of it. And we want to write it down because in writing it down, just the sensory act of writing it down will make it more memorable in your brain, make it more real to you and allow your subconscious mind to work to your advantage. So if after you do the written down process, you want to type it out, put it in your day planner, put it in your Google calendar, whatever it is, you can do it. But write it first because you lose an art of power when you just go straight to typing. The brain doesn't transmit typing on a keyboard the same way as it does writing with your pen on a piece of paper. So you first give yourself the range of what's acceptable. If I don't hit my goal and perfect, what's an acceptable substitution? And if I overachieve my goal, what does that look like? Write out your bullets of awesomeness. Cause guess what? Even if you get the substitution of the perfect goal, it's still freaking awesome. It's still better than where you're at now. So write out your bullets of awesomeness and then make sure that you are focused on you. This is about you right now. This is not about your career. This is not about your family. This is not about your friends. This is not about who you serve. This is focusing solely on you. We will talk about all the rest of those people at a different area in the soul target process, but right now it is you first. Because just like the airlines say, you have to put your own oxygen mask on first before you can help others.